that's for me. It's a, uh, it's really nice weather outside today. It's like proper gross rainy day. It's like that spitting rain where you don't actually want to do anything. Um, this is a shirt from Riley that he, he made for his last fashion drop. And I did a, um, I did a few shoots for him a while back. I'll link that vlog here. And this is my payment. I don't know what the front says. The sheriff is in town. Sick shirt. Thank you, Riley. This will be me and pull that bad boy out. Hey, you get the comfy one. I just want to be higher than you. Hello, people. Um, I got a comment on the vlog the other day. Someone was asking about, someone said, I don't know if you have a video about it, but would be sick to hear about how you even got the ball rolling on an office space. Oh, and then someone asked, I would love to hear more about what vent space is. Um, as for what vent space is, I made a whole documentary about it. I'll link it here. You should go watch that. He killed it. Thank you. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to get you here because I want to talk about how I actually got involved with Ventspace in the first place because you're the reason I'm here. Yeah. Um, so Riley and I met at climbing probably like start of last year. Yeah. And you were having a pizza. Yeah. I remember you were he was having a pizza sitting at the table um, and you know Frank's just got this energy about him. When you guys meet him you'll see. You, you'll get it. <laughs> and straight away just had a chat started talking smack and then things just went from there and every day i saw you we would climb every two days and mm. things just progressed yeah and at some point you started talking about this warehouse mm -hmm. you're like yeah me and some mates are like cleaning out this warehouse and it's sick and in my head i was like yeah right cool like yeah yeah sick, you dude. told me your first thoughts too you told me like oh i can't be that good like what are these guys <laughs> yeah. i was like oh i guess they've got a warehouse somewhere <laughs> this little shed shack yeah well i mentioned like a, a way like a, like just like an industrial warehouse which i mean i guess it is no nah, that's what it was um but yeah and then you invited me to uh, an art event after climbing yeah. one time because we were climbing you were like there's this show tonight like you should come like, like it's all photography like this guy does like it's like releasing a photo book and I was like, I'm not going to shout him out, but... And he gave me his time, the most important thing. No, stop. The most important <laughs> thing. Um, and then we, I went to that with Joe and we were talking and then you were like, you've got to talk to Julian, like you've got to meet this guy and have a chat with him. And Julian is the, the founder and mm -hmm. manager of You'll Ventspace. see in the documentary. You'll see. Um, and I was talking to him and he was like, yeah, we've got like this whole residency program and like you get like a desk and you get free access to all this gear and this space and it's this much a month and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, in theory, could we split one residency between two people? And he was like, yeah, absolutely. Like we can make whatever work. Like we just want people like bums on seats, like in the space. Yeah. And so Joe and I looked at each other and we we're like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right, done. <laughs> like and you signed it that day, right? We signed it that night, that yeah. Night. That because the space just had that much energy to it that we were mm -hmm. like, yeah, we're sold, like we're we're in, we're yeah, joining. Yeah, and yeah. then I think the week after we moved in, I set up a desk and just started shooting the podcast there. Yeah. Um, and then like it went from there, and I met all these amazing artists, and like it blew up. But basically, short version, Vent Space is like a, an artist in residency thing. So you pay X amount of money per month, and you get a desk and access yeah. to the space and access to the networking. Which is, which I would argue is like the biggest. Yeah, hundred percent. And on top of that, with the new space, venue area where you can host events, bar area where you can sell drinks and things like that. So each time, just from the old warehouse, we've just stepped the whole level up, mm -hmm. um, trying to take ourselves more seriously um, and just do more crazy art things. Like yeah, get moving. Yeah, and it's sick. And it's like that's my favorite part of the space is like being able to be working on a project and be like, oh, I need this one thing. And then just being able to go like five steps down the hall and being like, yo, I need graphics. Like for the documentary, mm -hmm. I was like, I need, gra I need title card graphics. And so I ran around here to Molly and was like, I need graphics. Can you make graphics for me in two days? And she was like, yep. And then stayed up two nights in a row and make, got them Crazy. done for me. Crazy. Um, things like that. Like that's the, the vibe of this space. Yeah. It's like everything that I loved about uni with none of the parts of uni that I hate. Yeah. It's kind of like being in a high school class but everyone's their own teacher and they're all doing their own thing and you're like dipping into other people's classes every now and again. Yeah. 
And every class is just the one person. Class. Yeah. <laughs> and if you need something, like you can, like if you're learning like After Effects or something, like you can go to someone and be like, yo, I'm learning, like how mm -hmm. do I do this little thing? Or like, you know, video, like photo people, like I've had people come and be like, yo, can you show me how to set up a lighting setup for high yeah. headshots? And it's like, yeah, perfect, done, like sorted. So, that's the vibe. Check it out. Check it out. If you're in Brisbane, come around. Yeah. During an event, you're always welcome. Everyone's always welcome. Yeah. Other times, a little, <laughs> little bit less welcome. Yeah. Give us a heads up. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this is the Riley that made this shirt. I put this shirt on in this one. Yeah, big. This is this guy. It's very cool. <laughs> More coming soon. More you'll coming see. soon. You'll okay. see, you'll see. That's it. Thank you. Crushed oh, yeah. it. Crushed it. <laughs> wait, wait, like, wait, wait. Um, Say that again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ultimate test. Oh, God. The, the more you pull the camera out, the more I'm feeling like comfortable being myself. Because I think the first time, like, you would have experienced it back in yeah. January, it's like, what the hell is this thing? And everyone else is like, this dude's a weirdo. Like, what's going on? But the more, like, you expose yourself to it, yeah. getting on it. You so get, if you want to do vlogging and you're scared of it, just try it. Just do it. Just it, try it. It takes a lot of time to get used to it, I think. And you'll make a lot of friends, because I'm sure people are like, what is this guy doing? Yeah, and then they talk to you. It's a really good conversation starter. Carrying around a camera all the time, they're like, what do you have that for? <laughs> and then you're like, oh, I do this and this and this. It's great. That's the opening line in a bar. Easy done. Easy done. done. That's my pickup line. <laughs> Did you record me today at all? It's filming. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? So I, I shaved the other day. Completely regret it. I don't think I'd shaved since I was first in the vlog nine months ago. <laughs> How insane. <laughs> anyway, boom. All right, I'm going to leave now. Bye. Bye, right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't tell me what to do. Alright, that work day ended up going much later than I expected it to. Um, just one of those days that like rips past and you're like, oh my god, we're done. Um, I'm going to an event tonight at the climbing gym. Uh, I haven't been climbing in a little while just because I've been so busy, but there's a, a games night tonight. So I was like, it'll be a good chance to go, maybe climb, but mostly see my friends. Hello. Okay, here. Here's a stick. Or does it? Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Woo! Oh, I almost got it too. <laughs> Very cool. I am a pinata. <laughs> I just wanted to say really quickly at the end of this vlog that today marks the 100 days left of the daily vlog. Today is 265, which means I am well, well, well past two thirds of the way done. Um, and it means that I am, oh, I'm at this point almost finished with the daily vlog. Just thinking back at how quickly the first 100 days went and imagining that that's the next 100 days is like, exciting and terrifying and and just like a whole plethora of things and over the past couple of weeks i've started planning what's going to happen after the daily vlogs are done and i'm, I'm not going to share that with you just yet it's all still very much in development and it's all like very slow going and it, and it will come there will be a big announcements thing about that probably somewhere around november december this year um but it's it's crazy to think that i've done 265 of these every single day and just to put that into perspective is is mind blowing and i know normally i do the numbers and i work it all out but honestly like at this point it doesn't even matter like 265 days is an absurd amount of time um and it means i've spent probably about 2500 3000 hours just on this daily vlog so i just wanted to put that in that's it i'm 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 gonna go home edit this and go to bed because i am wrecked uh and then and then we're gonna do it all again tomorrow and tomorrow's Sam's birthday, so that's fun. Um, so that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.